Okay. Now we're gonna get fancy. Oh, dude! Look who it is! Athena, I'm sorry you've been replaced. Just know. You're better. You're, you're better. What are you, what's going on here? Nothing. Saw died on us. Yeah. Different kind of saw. Yes. Hold on. And then you can just pick it up. Look at that. Apprentice David. Wow. Not even an apprentice. Master. Wow. Master David. Whoa. Let me get a zoom in on that. Athena, you'd be thrilled. It is very quiet in here. Vibrations are minimized. The back door doesn't sound bad. It sounds quiet. Good work, Athena. All those sound deadening mats finally pay off. Where are you going? Menards. To get what? Different insulation. I made a mistake. So I'm going to get, I'm gonna return all but one of those bats and then get foam boards. I'm gonna cut these to fit some of these window cutouts, obviously the ceiling, parts of the walls, and I'm gonna use this here liquid nails. This here liquid nails to get it stuck. gonna be it for me today. If you're doing a van, if you know someone who's doing a van, don't let them make the same mistake I did. You should also subscribe down there, hit the bell, give this a like if you like it, give it the series a like if you like it. You can go watch the whole van build playlist. It's short and sweet. And if nothing else, I'll see you soon. Later. I learned it's a pretty bad idea to use conventional fiberglass insulation bats in the van because of moisture, because of vibrations. That's mostly it, moisture and condensation. So when that metal inside the van gets cool and the van's warm inside, you're going to have condensation along the metal. And the fiberglass bats of insulation absorbs that moisture and that's going to lead to a lot of problems down the line.